hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out pierce morgan and douglas murray reacts to children identifying as animals in school and you guys i'm excited for this and without much ado let's see what this video is all about well joining me now is the veteran lgbt activist and human rights campaigner Peter Tatchell, political journalist Ava Santina, and by the best-selling author and conservative commentator Douglas Murray. Well, Douglas, you're safely over there in the United States, so let me start with you before the fun starts here. Um, this stuff reads like a joke, but it's really not funny when you get into the weeds of it. This is limitless self-identity gone bonkers. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. um, the very stupid results of a very stupid ideo ideology being rolled out by very stupid people. Uh, basically, everything has come unstuck in recent years by the ever-expanding alphabet acronym people, where the fight for gay rights and minority sexual rights turned into this demand, this claim, that there was no such thing as biological sex. Hmm. As uh, Peter Tatchell and, and others well know, the argument for gay rights was won by saying, we're just like the rest of you. It was also won by saying, you know, we just want to live and let live. Yet the gender ideologues have done something totally different. They've said, you don't have the right to have your own say in this. We are right and you have to agree with us. They say, Amazing. we're here, and instead of saying we're here, we're queer, we're there, and, and just get used to it, it's uh, we're here, and as a result, biological reality doesn't exist. Well, clearly, this very, very idiotic ideology is causing havoc. Just today, Piers, there's another uh, uh, tape from a school in Scotland where some poor boy is having to explain to his teacher that there's only two biological sexes and that the gender woo-woo stuff is nonsense. And yet again, it's the student having to educate the teacher because the teacher has been indoctrinated into stupidity due to the gender ideologues. OK, Ava, you're laughing. Why? Well, it's just quite amusing, really. I mean, we're talking about children that are 12 and 13. I mean, when I was at school, I had a girl who identified as a horse, but not in this sort of like problematic way that we're now labelling it. She didn't actually think she was a horse. She was just quite strange and walked around and, you know... But nobody in the school then, no teachers would have tolerated that in the way that this is now having to be tolerated. No teacher would have tolerated bullying of that child. And that's what this teacher in Sussex has done. They've said it's not acceptable for boys in that class to take the mickey out of someone who's obviously clearly just a child and who, they're exploring their imagination. Who says they're a cat. Yes, yes, but... Piers, they're 12. And he's and actually I interfering with the lessons by talking in cat language, including meowing, and mm. if people don't go along with this, refusing to cooperate. Yes. That is not just having a bit of fun oh, being a cat. Man. That is actually assuming the identity of an animal that this person is not, yeah. and then insisting everybody else conform to it. That is madness. That's not what's happening. What's Absolutely. happening is there's a child who's slightly more imaginative than their peers, and they are acting out this sort of fallacy, and that's fine. But to, um, to make it about trans, or to, you, this is where it gets dangerous, Okay, the Telegraph. Oh, it's very damaging to trans no, 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 people. I agree. Right. Okay. It's, I agree with that. The reason it's most damaging, the Telegraph have been reporting this. It's up 400% in the last couple of years, them reporting trans issues. I don't understand why they've got this weird obsession with going Let into Let me explain trans why. Trans. Let me explain why. No, it's quite gross. Let me explain why. When you have in women's sport six mm. foot four inch biological males destroying biological females at elite sport level Here. in swimming pools, on race tracks, in other sports, that's when it becomes a full frontal assault on mm -hmm. women's rights to fairness and equality. Yeah. And when you include them going into dressing rooms and so on and mixing with biological females, then there's a safety issue. When you have, as we had in Scotland, a male rapist identifying at his trial as a woman to get put into a woman's Pitch. prison I and being sent there by the female boss of Scotland at the time, who's now obviously in her own troubles, wow. that is why this is, this is happening. Kids are watching all this stuff and as kids do, they want a piece of the action. No, Piers, don't be ridiculous. There is nothing, there's no similarity between a child wanting to be a cat when they're 12 years old and someone competing in the Olympics. Oh, there is. There is Peter, no Peter, you and I have had a lot of civilised conversations about all this, right? And I want to continue that. I don't think that the trans community gets helped at all by any of this, right? 
But I don't think it's the media obsessing. I think what you're seeing is as the trans community get ever more active and populous, if you like, for want of a better phrase, and their activists get more aggressive, when they go to battle on things like women's sport, they're losing everyone and they're piling mockery onto the trans community. If we can go back to the Telegraph article. Yeah. It's quite mischievous. Out of the, I don't know, million or more pupils in our schools, they come up with five examples. Five examples out of a million. Now, that's wrong. I, I agree it's wrong. But, as Ava says, the kids are just acting up fantasies. When I was a little kid, I wanted to be Robin Hood. But that's fine. That's fine. Uh, but but the, the, school, the schools should not be tolerating But it. the schools a are not. A teacher should not be saying, if you, don't, but if you believe there are, that women have vaginas and men have penises, you have to leave the school. That is complete nonsense, no. right? In, in this particular case, the Telegraph cited this handful of examples. They were by teachers, individual teachers. Mm. They were not school policy. And at least one case, the school disowned the teacher and the policy and said that it wouldn't happen but again. But what about this case in Rye, Co in Rye College? Well, yeah, I'm sure there are some examples of excesses, but on the basis of, of those exceptions, you can't make a generalised attack upon the school system and suggest that all our kids are being propagandised in this way, because it's simply well, not happening. When you hear happening. that teacher, I think, uh, to bring uh, Douglas back in, when you hear that teacher, there's clear evidence of what we've all yes. been fearing has been going on, which is a teacher caught on tape literally spewing nonsensical gender ideology propaganda. But one teacher. Yes. Only one right. teacher. One te tens of thousands. Well, hang on. Um, one teacher caught on tape. Like one. Right? There have been many other instances I of this being reported, but no mm. one's actually had it on tape. It's a bit like, I would liken it to the Partygate scandal when we finally got a video of the people having what was clearly a party. There have been lots of rumours about it. So now we have a teacher clearly on tape Wow. doing this but stuff. it's not official school so policy I'll, if i may across if the country I may. well not, she's still to I'm my knowledge this. she is still working at that school douglas if i may uh, first of all uh, ava r rather uh, um unfortunately misspoke earlier when she said that the uh, schoolgirl in question was acting out of fallacy i think you meant a fantasy but actually she is acting thanks, out of fallacy douglas, thanks ever a so fallacy much. <gasps> but you know what i find she was right with fallacy been, do you know what's a fascinating fallacy about which douglas? has been propagated a fallacy which has been propagated by gender ideologues and is doing profound damage to gay people, among others, in our society, as well as women. Like and you let me ever explain cared. very quick. Let ever me cared. explain very quickly why. I can't quite hear you, but I can hear you muttering something. Let me quickly explain why. A poll that just got published in the United States showed that among the general population, support for gay marriage has been starting to decline in the last year. Why is that? It's because the arguments that actually brought about liberal rights for all minorities in the last few decades have started to get turned on their head and turned against people. What is the source of that? It is the gender ideology movement. What is the tripwire for the general public? It is children. It is people learning that their children are being taught nonsensical things. It is being seen by the wider public, most of whom are heterosexual and don't need to identify as cis or anything else. It is being seen from that vantage point as the LGBTQIA plus movement losing control of itself. And so a backlash is starting. And the backlash is coming because people are lying to children and are using children for medical experiments. There's nothing oh, funny ridiculous. about that. There's nothing that, that should cause levity in that. It should be treated by adults seriously. OK, no, Ava. So, Douglas, it's really important, actually, all of that point that you've just brought up, it's very on brand for you because, you know, you like to stoke fear. You've actually made a career out of it. We are, you know, I'll take you I, back to your book, The Strange Death Ava. of Europe. And you made a big fright, you know, you frightened the entire public about your thoughts on Europe. And we ended mm. up in Brexit. You weren't the sole contributor to that, but you yeah. were a big Can we voice stick on to the, the I will, I will. I and then, you know, so now we're quickly. talking about LGBTQ. If I may say so and you're very creating. Quickly, Hang on, you spoke, you spoke. Uh, I'm speaking. Well, uh, no, I'm speaking. I'll, I'll you spoke. Reply. This is, a, I mean, and I'll reply. Hello. Let, I haven't let finished. Ava speak, please. Douglas. Now, back on the trans issue, when you're talking about LGBTQ, what you've just done there is basically say that the whole of America, who have historically had a problem with gay marriage, are now turning no. on it because a couple of children no. in a classroom in Sussex want to be a cat. No, if you can't no, see the no. ridiculousness in that argument, I can't help you. No. The bigger well, issue is all, there is no such thing as gender yes. ideology. 
We I all have gender body. identities. You identify as a man, and I fully respect you. Well, no. No, hang on. I don't identify no. as a man. I was born a biological yes. male. Yes, That's where this whole um, thing Piers, you need goes, to let me goes rogue. In. I'll bring you back in, Douglas, in one say. That's where the whole debate goes rogue. You were born a biological male. You were born a biological female. Douglas, biological male. The, this is just a fact. Right? No. Once you start saying there are hundreds of genders and you can identify as anything you want, no. you're going to end up with kids yeah. at school going, I'm a horse, and you've got to treat me like a horse. It appears you're confusing two things. No, I'm not. Sex and gender. I'm not. I accept they are being conflated. Biological sex is one thing which I totally accept, and so do 99% of the people in the LGBT plus community. Gender is something different. Gender identity is how you see yourself. And, and do, you believe course, it's, do you believe it's limitless? No, I don't believe it's limitless. What's the limit? Well, there was basically male and female intersex, but there are people who have different gender identities. No, but how many genders are there? Well, I, 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 there is no fixed number. So what's the limit? I don't see a particular limit. There's no I, limit. So, I, I, so when I, you said, there's no, you no, said there is a limit, I, now I, you admit there's no limit. No, sorry. Well, there, there is male and female Is identity. there a limit or not there's to the number of genders? Identity. No, that's, that's sex. But On but, gender, is there a limit to the number of genders? Well, there are, there are some people who are asexual. That's an identity. No, no. There there are, some the, BBC, people, the BBC has yeah. put in education videos, there are 100 plus genders. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with so that. So what is the limit? What's the number? Well, I'm not going to specify a particular number, but it's, right. a ve it's very small. But where, it's do very you draw, small. where do you draw the line? Well, I draw the line based on science and evidence. And we know that there is a thing called intersex, mm. where people are born with a mixture of both that male and female. That is literally what it says, both, on, both what it says on the female. tin. That is intersex. Yeah. People are born with, with chromosomes from both, yeah. right? That is a medical condition. Yeah. That's inarguable, right? We're talking about gender. Well, well Douglas, trans identity uh, is also a biological fact. I know, but once I... Rooted, I know. rooted in brain structures and processes, I understand it. But once as the people, new science shows. But once you get into 100 genders, people can yeah, literally... Yeah, we're not debating 100 genders. Well, actually, the BBC has taught kids, as is back to Douglas's point, yes. about you know, affecting the brains of impressionable young kids. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the BBC if they're saying 100-plus okay. genders. OK, Douglas. Uh, very quickly, I, I don't know, Ava, anything about your career. Um, I don't know if you have one, uh, but you did try to imply that you knew something about mine and you just showed you know nothing about it because actually my 2017 bestseller, The Strange Death of Europe, was not about the EU. So you should learn at some point to read more than the title of the book before Europe. commenting upon it. Was it. About, and it was about uh, so migration, me, but let me, but and let it me was. Very quickly, and how let rude me are you? Quickly, how rude are you? Very quickly. Very you quickly, built a career me, out of fear mongering, very, and you're now importing I, 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 you as evangelical even American ideas onto UK you television. You haven't even it's built a career, odd. have you? You haven't what even built a career. What are you talking about? I'm on so the same panel as you, Hunt, and we're getting the same. Do you know so, what? I'm going to wrap so it up by saying you've you both got wonderful careers, or you wouldn't be on Piers Morgan Uncensored. Uh, well. Before I let you go, Peter, though, I want a quick reaction. Elton John today reacted to the Philip Schofield scandal and said that he believed uh, it was totally homophobic. That if it had been a man having a, a relationship at work with a 20-year-old woman, there would be no scandal. What's your response to that? I think there's a whiff of homophobia. I wouldn't say total homophobia, but there's a whiff because we know that when big celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio, um, uh, Peter Stringfellow, uh, Elvis Presley and so on, when they had relationships with young women, much, much younger, there was tut-tutting, but there wasn't the kind of witch-hunting atmosphere that Philip Schofield has experienced. Mm. Now, saying that, as someone who says that, you know, his own private life should be his own private life unless he's harmed someone else or committed a criminal offence. Otherwise, it's for him. You know, 40% of uh, all marriages used to begin at the workplace and historically with a, a man in a higher position at work. That's how people used to meet and fall in love. It would be the boss, the secretary and so on. That's not going to happen anymore, is it? I mean, well, the Schofield template now is you cannot actually really have any relationships at work. And my only response to that would be, OK, how are people going to meet their partners for life, actually? It's an interesting question socially. If 40% of marriages began at work and work relationships become taboo, where does that leave online, society? Online, though, isn't it, you know? Huh? It's Gen Z now, it's all online. We don't talk to each other. Well, there you go. Here, you know? well, there you go. <laughs> the only thing we should be concerned about, was a crime committed? Was anyone harmed? We don't have any evidence of either in the case of... No, we don't at the moment, unless, unless the, the other man concerned comes out and contradicts Philip Schofield's story. Yeah. There is no crime. Until then, the man is innocent. Yeah. Innocent yeah, I, until proven guilty. I don't disagree. Peter, we've reached a point of agreement. <laughs> Always a good place to end. Ava, congratulations on your stunning career, which has brought you to the desk of Piers Morgan Uncensored. Douglas, always a joy.
over there in Likewise. New York. Great to see you. You guys, oh my gosh, the things I learn on the internet every day shocks me to my bone marrow. Like, do you guys think it's ideal for a child to play at such fantasy or they should be cautioned now that they are still young? I agree with what Douglas Murray said because they should put a stop to these things so that the future generation will not face so much harm because the way this generation is going is gonna there's gonna be a whole lot of problem in the future i don't even know what to say i'm so so angry i'm so confused i don't i don't know why they keep pushing these ideologies to children they don't want children to like act like children anymore let me know your thoughts on this one. What do you think about what Douglas Murray said? Do you stand with him? Because I totally stand with him anytime, any day. Let me know your thoughts on this one. I really had fun reacting to this video. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment, share, and all that good stuff. And this is me officially signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.